Okay guys, so here is another dress that I made a long time ago. And it goes down to the floor. And I got inspired with this dress from Nene Leakes. Nene Leakes had had on a dress and I was like, oh my gosh. When I saw Nene Leakes in that dress, I just, under every circumstance, I needed to have that dress. So this is the dress. And this, to me, the material be seeming like it's that like scarf like material. And it is absolutely a beautiful material and very um, elegant to have. So I'm gonna be generous and I'm gonna show y'all how I made this. So just imagine if you take the fabric, I got about, uh, I probably got about three yards of this. So you'll take the fabric and you'll make a loop like if you're gonna do a circle skirt, you know what I mean? So you take the measurements going around up here what's going to hold here and it's oversized so like if you're going to make a big old skirt so the first thing i'll do is um sew this around and i add elastic through it okay and then i decide how much of a cut that i want out in the front okay so you can see how it goes so then i will go with the skirt and the skirt is going all the way down depending on how tall you is so if you're taller and you want it to to kind of hit the floor a little bit, uh, be mindful of that. So then just imagine that this, this, the skirt is cut like a long, just maxi skirt, and but you're pulling it up here on your chest. And then I will cut this shape, see this? And that's how I wind up getting this. So that's how I look, guys. Can you see it? Can you see me? Can you see me? Okay, and then when I did the sleeves. So when I did the sleeves, you do your measurements going around, and of course you're gonna add the elastic through, but you see I wind up sewing it right here to the side, and then I made a long um, sleeve oversized. Instead of sewing it all the way down, I sewed it to where my wrist stopped. You see that? And then I open it up. And I put the elastic in. Then I took a little more of the material that was left, and I kind of just cut this uh, shape right here. So I cut this shape right there. And that, that makes it do that in the front. So this was inspired by Miss Nene Leakes. And this is an easy, simple dress. And see, yeah, I can, I can give back. So people are like, oh, you give up how you make stuff. And what if you, to be honest, guys, to be 100% honest, you know, you do something for so long and you've been taking care of people and doing stuff to mentally, you just be like, I don't want to do this. Now, I never will stop creating and making stuff, but I'm at the point that I don't necessarily, necessarily have to service, you know, do this service to make revenue. So prom season is coming up and I, and I normally don't opt out to, um, I normally don't do it, but, uh, they my peoples. So she's going to prom and, you know, they had those dresses with the huge applique on it. So I was, was trying to explain, you know, to them that that particular dress is a big applique. So you got to go to the applique, uh, people that sell it, buy that. And then far as making a dress and a mermaid, that's nothing. But that whole big piece. So when y'all be sending big old pieces full of rhinestones, that is a rhinestone panel. So if you're interested in that, put in rhinestone panel and it'll take you to these different stores. But pay attention because that's why I was telling him to call me before you order because so we can so we can understand. Because a lot of times y'all about this and y'all looking at these dressings on mannequins. And on mannequins is way different from a woman with boobs. So when you get when you got these younger girls and they're young and they big chests or whatever, then when you buy that and then it's showing so much cleavage, you be like, oh, as a father or I don't know if I want her to wear that. So that's why I kept telling him to call me for them to call me before they order. He just ordered. And I'm like, he didn't listen. So then when you make this dress, because on that on that rhinestone panel, we use sheer lace. And then you just add the abacades over. So when you add that and you got this young lady that's developing now all this cleavage, because this is sheer. The lace that we use is going to be sheer. And you be like, oh, I know. 
excuse me, they be like, oh, I didn't know that the dress was going to be like that. Hold on, I got to get something to drink, Mom. Took in too much air. Sorry, guys, I took a deep breath, took in too much air. I almost choked, but they'll go, oh, I didn't know that dress was going to be revealing like that. No, no, no. And once this process started, ain't no fixing it. You get what I'm saying? So I wanted to talk to them before they ordered it, but he ordered it and I asked him for them to give me a call so I could speak to him, speak to the mama so they can understand what's going on. But a lot of times when you make clothes, people think you Houdini and they think that they can order someone way and flip and change it. It don't work like that. It does not work like that. So he ordered it and now it's like, okay, you looking at that on the mannequin. It looks so cute on that mannequin and mannequin ain't rounded out like your granddaughter. And you ain't going to want her to wear some of that stuff. So be mindful when you're doing that and listen to the person that's making the clothes. Because for you, your idea is easy. But listen to the person that has to make that dress so you can make the decision if you want to go with that. Everything will look way different on a mannequin than a real person. So just know that. So with that being said, this is how I made this amazing, beautiful dress. And it is so sexy. So, so And y'all see that people always like, why you always got to wear stuff that's skin tight? Why you always got to wear, this ain't skin tight. But as you see, this sexy too. <laughs> it's just, that's just what it do. Okay, okay. Yeah, but you wear what you like. I wear what I like. And can't we just all get along? All right now, talk to y'all later. Toodles. This is the dress that I'm talking about, guys. So when y'all see these dresses, that is a full lace rhinestone bias piece at the top so keep in mind when you're getting these dresses all right